seeing as how this is my last episode, I thought I would wrap it up and say goodbye by giving you the bests of this year. We'll start with the best breakthrough, and that's Outkast and their double CD set, Speaker Box and The Love Below. This album offers up variety and is so catchy you'll find yourself singing it all the time. Next up is the best solo artist, and that is Justin Timberlake's first solo attempt, Justified. On the CD, he actually incorporates different styles of music unlike NSYNC's typical pop sound. Transatlanticism by Death Cab for Cutie captures the best overall album this year because it, has, it just has a great rock sound that makes you want to listen to it over and over. The best goodbye CD is Jay-Z's The Black Album, which was said to be his final album, so he worked really hard on producing this great CD. And finally, the best comeback goes to Prince's Musicology, which obviously exposes Prince's talent since he plays every single instrument on the CD, but also provides an easygoing album that anyone might like. So that's it forever. I hope you guys enjoyed my reviews this year, and have a great summer. Hey, I'm Nate Nixon. I graduated from Shepherd Hill class of 2000, and we will be playing, my band will be playing here uh, Friday evening, 7 p.m. in the auditorium to benefit the American Cancer Society Relay for Life. And we hope y'all can make it. Tickets will be available in the music department. And here's a little tune for you. Keep you awake. Oh.